What's poppin' kittens and cool cats? It's me, Keisha, a.k.a. Color Me Pink, and I am here with a Spill the Tea video. Now, we all know that the Real Housewives of Atlanta's finale, season finale episode aired last night, and Sheree Whitfield finally, after 14 long, exhausting years, finally debuted her She by Sheree clothing line. It was a bunch of trials and tribulations. Samples weren't coming in. Things were late. It was this, this, that, and the third. Tyrone showed up. It was just a lot. But eventually, she ended up pulling it off. Some of the stuff looked very cheaply made. Some of the stuff looked really, really nice. But it was like a hodgepodge of different um, colors and things. There really wasn't a real theme throughout the show. It was cute for what it was. I gave it a seven. Well, after the fashion, after the season finale episode last night, Sheree went live with her website finally. You know, this is what we all been waiting for, for the season finale to air, to then be able to go on her website and purchase and support her. You know, she finally did it. We all wanted to support her. Now, if you already watched my review, you heard that while I was reviewing the episode, I went on the website to see if everything was up and running. The website was up and running, but when I clicked on shop, nothing happened. So I just assumed at that point that, you know, it was a bunch of traffic and you just couldn't get into it and I would try again later. By the time I finished uh, filming my review and getting it up, Sheree had put out a statement regarding the website. And she stated, due to the overwhelming interest in She by Sheree, the influx of love is crashing the website. But please understand, it's being worked on. So continue to check back in within the next 24 hours. So I'm like, okay, I'll give it a few more hours. I know I'll be awake. I'm going to go back on there early, later on because I did really want to support and I wanted to see if the uh, designs and the line was size inclusive and everything. I really wanted to purchase the items, wear it, give it uh, my honest review to you guys and to, you know, support another black woman. Went back on there later. The site was still down. Now, Lisa Milan from Real Housewives of Dubai experienced the same thing on the episode when her fashion show aired and her uh, maternity wear line and her ready to wear line was available for sale. She, you know, it was an influx of customers and stuff. So her uh, website had, you know, a lot of traffic as well, but she was able to get her stuff back up within minutes, literally was able to go on the website view everything, purchase everything. So I was a bit confused as to why Sheree's was still down after hours. Well, I woke up this morning and saw all of these stories on the blogs, child. And I was like, Lord, what is going on, Jesus? First of all, the site as I'm filming this is still down. It is 2.44 p.m., central time and the site is still down that's ridiculous that is fucking ridiculous who is over there running your website why is it still down what in the hell is going on do you got aol <laughs> do you got dial up what the fuck is going on over there that this website is still down well when people the people that were able to get onto the website they got on there and saw that there were literally only three outfits on there. Three outfits. And here they are. Now, I'm confused as to why it's only three looks. You literally, literally had no cap at least at the minimum eight to nine months to get everything in order. It didn't make any sense that your samples weren't coming in and all of this stuff, especially with the way they ended up looking, child. Then you've had all of these months while the show was airing. Okay, so it was 17 episodes. So that means you had four months, four whole months to get the products ready, to get the website ready, to get all the clothes in, all the sizes, packaging, whatever, ready to go okay you had four months after filming and the show being on air to get everything together 
why you only have three outfits why why and this ain't even what we saw on the show none of this was in the show from what we saw so i'm really confused if this was all we was gonna get what was the point of the fashion show because this wasn't even in the fashion show you know this is just this simple athleisure wear you know stuff that you can wear whatever going to the grocery store picking up your kids from school you know little jogging suits you there's so many little print on demand little damn uh websites and stuff where you can get your designs put on a sweatshirt a t-shirt jogging pants leggings or whatever and they even do the shipping and handling and all that for you i've done it i had my own clothing line back in the day for any of the t-squad members that have been around for a long time so i'm not understanding why this shit wasn't prepared and ready and from what i'm seeing on the screen like this is cool but there's nothing special about it there's nothing different than we'll see at lululemon child or tarjay or walmart so on top of it only being three goddamn outfits child now she is being accused of stealing the design that she's wearing in this photo as you can see, whoever this person was that found out this information wrote she by somebody else, child. This is literally the same outfit. And it looks like she just slapped the she by Sheree logo onto the chest. Once again, if you were going to be out here getting some print on demand athleisure wear, what was the point, girl? You could have just did merch, whatever. It didn't even have to be this big ass fucking fiasco. This shit right here takes nothing to do nothing nothing to do at all nothing and this ain't even your design girl this is some shit it looked like came off of amazon the it says uh manon rosa workout sets women two-piece yoga fitness yeah this came off of amazon and it has four stars and like 2,000 or 200 and something. No, this is 2,000. 2,000 and something reviews on Amazon. Why, Sheree? Why? Please explain it to me. Why, girl? Why? You and Martell over there scheming and a scamming together. Just a scheming and a scamming, which are print on demand bullshit. Then on top of that, fans are pissed because the website is down it's only three fucking outfits it's just a mess let me read y'all some of the tweets that have come out since last night so one person said so i'm trying to check the she by sheree website and the shop link isn't working we gotta wait 14 more years for the link to work remember that's what i told y'all last night when i went on there the shop link was not working then somebody else said, so we waited 12 years for She by Sheree just for there to be two sweatsuits and the website to crash 10 minutes later. All right. Somebody else then says Sheree is continuously embarrassing because why does she could because why does the She by Sheree website not work after she finally debuted the clothes on the RHOA season finale? And then lastly, somebody said, how can housewife fans get merch up on Etsy in a month? But she by Sheree's basic hoodies, joggers have taken over a decade. She should have just made a merch website instead, LOL. And I agree because this is just ridiculous. At this point, this is giving me, I spent all my money on this fashion show trying to flex and prove to people that I can do it. And then in the end, I don't have enough money to cover the expenses of actually producing the damn product so since i don't have the money to produce the product yeah i'm gonna get the website up but then when it comes time to purchase we just gonna make sure that the shop link don't work <laughs> we're not gonna activate or enable the shop link and make it seem like it's an influx of customers and that the website has crashed and that you know we trying to work on getting it up this gives me scam this gives me scam this gives me scam this gives me i'm not prepared i wasn't prepared the money ain't there this just gives me scam honey scam and she tried to figure out a way to get herself out of this foolishness because this makes absolutely no sense at all that the website not working and that you only had three outfits in the first place i haven't seen have you seen anybody that was able to purchase anything 
I want to see a receipt, a confirmation number for anybody that was able to purchase something. Because if I don't see no purchase receipts, it's really giving me that you just threw up some stock photography photos that y'all, you know, took pictures in this shit, but the product still ain't there. But you pretending like it is. That's what this is giving me. Regardless, even if five people was able to buy something, why is the website still down? Why is it only three little whack ass outfits, girl? And it's not even the stuff that we saw in the fashion show. This is just some basic bullshit. On top of that, now the designer who designed the samples for the show, the runway show, is calling Sheree out for not paying. Lord have mercy. So the guy that allegedly did these pieces took to Facebook all I can see is his first name is Tyree. His last part of his name is blurred out. But he posted this to his Facebook page and said, what kills me is it don't matter how genuine and honest you try to be with people. They will worry about yourself and play you if they can. I think they meant themselves. Um, this lady, Sheree, Housewives of Atlanta, shit by Sheree. Oh, didn't have really no clothes or style for her fashion show. Not only was I on set altering clothes the day of, spent $2,500 of my own dollars to meet the deadline and make it happen. Not only she takes all the credit, never said thank you, and it was on national TV last night, and I made her finally look good out of 14 years of trying. This lady still never at least just reimbursed me, let alone pay me, shaking my head. I made her 40 pieces of clothes less than a week. She not going to make a dollar off that clothing line because God don't play about me. And I ain't giving her no patterns or ideas no more. So that's that. What y'all saw last night was echoes of my years in fashion and making people millionaires. If you knew all the companies that come to me for designs and ideas and samples, you would hit the floor in disbelief lol i care less to be famous but pay me and respect what i do and did for you now this all makes sense the reason why she wasn't able to produce the stuff that we saw in the fashion show is because the designer that created them all would not give her the patterns for them so if she don't have the patterns for them she can't reap produce them you know what i'm saying because you know Sheree don't know how to do nothing so that's why we got what we got with these little three little outfits that she put up on the website it all makes sense if she not out here paying people that's fucked up like this person went way above beyond to help you to reach your goals and you can even acknowledge him thank him on camera hell pay him and then reimburse him for the $2,500 that he invested in his own time and money to help you like that's fucked up then you didn't pay Drew you know for half of the little party y'all through Kenya and Marlo like what is going on over there why do you not pay people this is just so trifling but you want to act like you that bitch you want to be on camera flexing your fashions and wearing Gucci outfits and this this that and the third head to toe but then you over there being raggedy, not paying people. I hope he take your ass to court so he can get his money, honey. Because that's foul AF. Foul as shit. And that's why your debut has flopped and done the way that it has done. Because of the way you do people. You can't do people like that and then expect to get blessings. You know what I'm saying? This shit is going to be exactly what it is. A bunch of shit and everybody just going to be like, girl, I ain't got time for this shit no more. This lady still bullshitting 14 years ago. You should have just left it the fuck alone. Left it the fuck alone and said, you know what? That was something that I was, you know, a dream of mine 14 years ago, but I've moved on to something else. Because this is an embarrassment and you should be ashamed of yourself. You really honestly should if you did do this man like that. That's fucked up fuck to the up let me know what y'all think about all this foolishness were you, any of you able to purchase anything if you did i need to see a receipt god damn it to make sure this shit is legit and real let me know what y'all think about the, the the three outfits that she did put up on the website what y'all think about the site still being down what do you think about this guy accusing her of not paying uh for the samples that he created in a fucking week for her girl this is Ooh, trifling let's talk down below in the comment section you guys make sure to thumbs up this video like and subscribe and hit that notification bell button i love you all and i'll see you on the next video bye